what is going on people it is finally nice out i think we're about to hit 50 mid 50s today which is great because the weather has been kind of weird warms up then it freaking snows a couple weeks ago we had like a foot of snow which is awesome but now it's starting to warm up we're getting some warm temperatures been fishing lately uh searching for pre-spawn bass and have not been too successful now the water levels have been kind of high they are starting to drop now and the weather's starting to warm up so any time now literally any day we're gonna get some uh some nice big freaking smallmouth so um but i got something a little different on the agenda for today um i'm gonna try crawfish trapping i've never done this before so you guys may roast me and tell me i don't know what i'm doing well i i don't so not a big deal but i uh bought some traps from walmart i got them all rigged up yesterday got the lines on them um got my tags on them you gotta have a uh, name and address on your tags or on your traps so i don't know i just went to uh went to walmart and bought them uh little dog tag things with my name and address on them i figured that was the best way to do it so Bought a couple traps. I got four total. Like I said, I got them all rigged up. I got the ropes on them. Um, and you can see those here. Now, I am making some slight modifications to them. So, the, the originally they came like this. Now, this opening is fairly small. These are minnow traps. Um, but you can modify them for crawfish. So, the hole that came on these originally was kind of small i mean that's probably maybe an inch or so um basically all i did was open those up a bit um because it seems like that hole is kind of small for a i don't know if you can see that but it, the hole seems kind of small for a crawfish to fit in so i did open these up a bit um got three of them done i just gotta do the last one so we're gonna go uh we're gonna go try and put these out today and uh, got a couple different baits that I'll show you that I'm going to be using. I don't know if they're going to work or not, but we'll see. So I will uh, catch you guys when I get down to the river. setting out four traps I got two with a chunk of tilapia in it that I bought from the from the grocery store there and then I got two with a bunch of chicken gizzards in so I'm gonna see which one performs better uh, come back tomorrow and see which one performed better and then kind of go from there I want some other I want to try some other baits as well but we're gonna kind of just see what uh, what works good and what doesn't so i'm gonna toss these out and uh see you in a bit the next morning all right we are back at the spot where i dropped the traps and uh let them sit overnight so hopefully they're full because that would be kind of cool so i'll see you in a minute I'll put you on the chest well here is the one that had the chicken gizzards in it let's see And we have, there's a couple in there. Yeah, let's see, what is that? And we got a few in there. Let's pop her open and see what we got here. Seven, eight, 
let go of the cage. Nine. Ten. Eleven. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. Looks like fourteen in this one. And then this little slimy looking guy, I don't know what this is. Get him out here. I don't know what that is. Is that a little snake head? Oh, how freaking cool. It's a little snake head. Look at that. Alright. Next one here is the one that had the uh, half a tilapia in it. Let's see what we got in here. Holy moly. What the hell? Freaking even bigger snake head than this one. That's crazy. This one we only got. Let go of the cage there, bud. Look at the size of that one. That's a pretty big one. We got one, two, three, four, five. We only had five in this one. Thought for sure this one was gonna perform better than the other one. Only five. Looks like there's something in it. Find out in just a second. Another two freaking snakeheads. Jesus Christ. Well, that's the only thing that's in it, so. Probably gonna move this one to that other spot since there was quite a bit more action over there, so I'm gonna pull this one and move it. Looks empty. Yep. All right, I'm gonna pull this one as well and put it over at the other spot. All right, we are back to check some traps. Oh, I'm trying to fall in the water. <clears throat> Let's see what we got in the first one here. One. No good. And the next one. This one was pretty deep. Let's see what we got here. Um, two. Two in this one. And this one was the chicken gizzards. That guy's missing a claw. So I am going to be pulling these traps. So I'm just going to let them eat that bait. And we're going to get on to the next. I actually have the most confidence in this guy here. So hopefully we get uh, a little bit. Yeah, there's a few in there. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five. Some big ones in there, though. Let go. <clears throat> That's a big one there. Here's the last one. Looks like we got something in there, maybe. There's a couple. Um, two. Yeah, I thought this one was gonna do a little better. 
Oh well, we got a few. All right, now I got all the crawfish back home. I just uh, put some fresh water in a little cooler here, threw the uh, aerator in there for, for oxygen for them. And uh, this process here is just purging them out, purging their systems, getting all that kind of muddy water and stuff out. A lot of guys use salt water, I don't know. I figured I'd just let them sit in some clean water and kind of replace it every day when it gets dirty. So um, it was actually a fairly decent success. Uh, I had them sitting overnight twice. Um, I don't know, I probably got 40 or so in there now. Uh, I had one casualty, one one didn't make it, but otherwise they had uh, all the other ones are still alive and kicking and hanging out. So fairly successful. I'm uh, I'm happy with the result. Now the water's still a little cold, so I know that uh, once water warms up, you get a little bit more. So we'll see what happens uh, when I throw some more out when the water's a little warmer. So again, fairly decent success on the. On the trapping portion of it. Um, I had the two traps, well, two different baits. I had four traps. Uh, two had tilapia, whole tilapia, and two had chicken gizzards. I really don't see, I didn't ever seen much of a difference between the two. One caught more, the other one caught more between the two days. Never really seen much of a difference between the two or which one actually worked better. Um, I am gonna try some other other baits. Uh, maybe on the next one, I want to do like a, a one with dog food, one with cat food kind of thing, because um, I know both of those baits you guys use a lot. So again, I'm I'm new at this. This is literally my first time doing it. So if I'm doing something wrong, definitely let me know in the comments section. But um, if this is something you'd like to see. Definitely hit that like button, subscribe, because uh, I'm gonna have more more stuff like this coming up. Especially when the weather gets warmer and, and we can really get on some fish and, and do some trapping. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, hopefully it was semi-informative. Hopefully you learned something. I learned a lot. Um, so yeah, hope you enjoyed. Y'all stay safe out there. Have a good day. Bio -jank.